Hello and welcome to Think About It, where we have two primary goals. The first is to get you to think about it, and the second goal tonight is very exciting because I'd like to invite all of you to join me on a journey to democratic dreamland. It's a marvelous place where actual problems are never confronted. Instead, we just pull a little sleight of hand to sort of distract the crowd. A couple of four instances before I get to my primary point made possible by today's headlines. When the health care debate was raging and a lot of people in this country were very nervous because we didn't know what was in the 2,000 plus page bill, the solution was given to us. Just pass it and we'll figure it out later. That's not going so well. Perhaps your nation is involved in one or two or maybe three unpopular wars that you promised not to continue when you campaigned, but you really kind of needed to because it's in the best interest of the country. So what do you do? How about you agree to send in a massive surge of troops that will help a decisive victory be possible, but then you pull them all out right before the election in 2012 so that you don't upset those on your base side? Are your approval numbers tanking? Well, then I, the, the tried and true remedy is simply to keep blaming President Bush and nowadays just throw Sarah Palin into the mix and talk about how hateful she is. Is the economy reeling? Yeah, it really is. And today's motivation for this Think About a video comes from everybody's favorite senator from Illinois, not former senator, current senator, because for some reason those people keep electing Dick Durbin to a position of leadership. His answer to the reeling economy is amnesty for illegals. He actually proposed that as an economic cure for our nation to allow the millions and millions and millions of people who are here against the law to stay here and become part of our nation. Um, I don't get it. These are the same kind of people who, if they went to their mechanic and he said, your car needs new brakes, they would buy floor mats. If the doctor told them they had cancer, they'd set a dentist appointment and ask him for a haircut. When do we ever see the leadership on the Democratic side actually directly address real problems? We don't. What we actually see them do is take someone like a Paul Ryan or a Michelle Bachman or whatever and just demonize any ideas they come up with. One quick question for you before we wrap up in this trip to Democratic Dreamland. In all of the criticism of Paul Ryan's rather draconian plan, have any Democrats come forward with a plan of their own? Any. If so, please let me know. I will be happy to talk about it. But it looks like right now their only plan is to not agree to any plan. And that, my friends, is our trip today into democratic dreamland. Think about it.